Ooh, look at this guy. He's not happy, that's it. Run away, fella. He's gonna go and get his buddies. <laughs> gonna bring a whole army of them next. No, 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 no. Definitely a game I can say I'm gonna enjoy. Whoa. Holy crap. Shoot it. Shoot it. He ain't getting away from me, fella. Chase it down, chase it down. He's melting my troops right now. Okay, let's get some tanks. We want some armor. Holy cow, this thing's... Shoot it! Shoot it now! It's running away again. We've got to finish that thing off. Whoa, we're getting hammered right now. Oh my god! What is happening? What is that thing? Help! Kill it! Oh my goodness. We need help. Bring in the boys. Let's go. Holy cow. Take that sucker out. Beautiful. She's coming down. Oh my goodness. Arr! This is insane. That's it, tank. Whoa, holy crap. Help. Hello everyone, it's Matmus. Thank you so much for joining me today on this video. So, what are we playing today? Well, it's a new game that I've kind of put on the back burn a little bit called Warshift. Now, I was mentioned this game in the past by a fellow YouTuber and a follower of my channel, Jaw Gaming. Please go check out his channel, guys. He's a fantastic YouTuber, a good friend of mine on uh, some games that we've played in the past too, so uh, please go check out his channel. But this game is very, very impressive. It's only recently been fully released um, and it has definitely taken me off guard in terms of being a absolutely fantastic RTS game um, and I am a massive fan of my real-time strategies so this is definitely a game that I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy um, I did run through the tutorials because they're kind of basic and you know they're kind of boring to watch through um, but this game has a couple of unique features and we'll go through them once we get into an actual mission here but let's just get into a mission so yeah as I said before uh, we completed the first four training missions nothing special kind of just teaching you how to play the game and you know, it's not exactly the most interesting of content, but uh, it definitely shows you the key features of the game, which we're going to jump into straight here. So, we're going to start off a series here, guys, um, and we're going to start off with Sector 2, Volcano Island, or Volcanic Island, and back in control mission. So, let's get going here. We are in control of a combat avatar. Now, your combat avatar is basically your primary unit that you can actually jump into third-person view in the real-time strategy scenario. So basically, imagine like Red Alert or Command and Conquer kind of series, but you can actually jump into the vehicle and utilize it on the battlefield as if it were you in that RTS game. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, so we're in the Raider, it's an amphibious APC, transformation into a watercraft, ram transporting troops. Um, so let's get going here, let's see how it goes. Greetings, Commander. The Vanguard Our Army just arrived in the sector. Our troops are ready for landing on the coast and construction of the first outpost. But we have found enemy defensive structures around the landing zone. Destroy them using drone fighters and drone bombs. Land your amphibious on the coast and capture the landing zone. Land your arc right on the landing zone. Then you can start creating resource extractors, units, and defensive structures. Main goal. Get 15,000 tons of resources. Build towers near each platform to protect it from the enemy attacks. This will be able to move both by sea and by land. Use the turbo acceleration mode. You can immediately land troops on the battlefield. Awesome. So, yeah, this thing already looks pretty badass. The Raider Amphibious APC. So, yeah, this is fully controllable in the third-person environment. Um, so, first of all, you're given the ability to upgrade your avatar vehicle, which is really, really cool. Um, first of all, let's start with weapons. So, clearly, we have a kind of Gatling gun, railgun system going on here. Uh, looks really cool. Uh, we have... Uh, what's this? Two. Doesn't say exactly what two is. And we're going to add some extra weapons here. We're obviously going to add a nice little rocket system there, the Hydra. It's got some good damage, uh, quite a bit of credits. Where's my credits? I think this will be up here. I think these are my credits. Um, and then we're going to add something else too. Might as well put an MLRS on the side of it too. It's nice to have. Multiple rocket launch system on there. Oh, it looks badass like that. 
Um, and then we can also assign some upgrades. So we'll slap some extra armor on there, put some chob on the oh, couple of plates, nothing special, but works, I guess. Uh, and we can increase our stat points. So let's get some attack, some endurance, and some recovery. And it looks like we are ready to go. Um, I mean, the graphics straight away look absolutely fantastic. I'm super impressed with the graphics in this game. And it is set to extreme, um, so it visually looks stunning. And you'll sh you'll see exactly what I mean by how good it looks in a second here. So let's deploy. And here we go. So we're straight into the ocean here. And as I said before, we can just drive it around. We're literally just driving around all over the place. Um, there's our vehicles to the left there. Looks like we're kind of an amphibious force right now. Um, there's our targets. So uh, let's first of all talk about the two different options of how we can play this game. So right now, as I said before, we're kind of in the avatar mode. We can kind of, you know, look around, engage, um, shoot, and all that good stuff. Or we can go into strategy mode, which is what we're in right now. Uh, and it's basically like any old RTS game. We kind of look into the, you know, the top-down view and can survey the units that we have and utilize them as best we want. This is our ARX uh, assault ship, and it looks absolutely amazing. It looks like something off the freaking Avengers. Um, again, look at the attention to detail on this thing. I mean, it just looks absolutely visually stunning. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, and I love the fact that I can just jump into this thing and tear around and do whatever I want and still involve myself with all the other units that are around. Um, the water graphics are making it a little confusing to see. Um, I think we can actually go underwater. Maybe not. No. Nope. Oh well. Um, so yeah, first of all, our primary objective is to capture the coastline. So we were told to use our ships to do so. So let's go back into strategy mode here. Um, and we will take these ships and we'll go in for an attack. Now what are these? Are these bombers? These are bombers, yes. Yeah. So let's use our bombers. And we'll go in for a... Uh, we'll go in for a bombing run. We'll take out these targets here. Popping flares, popping some chaff before they go in. It looks amazing. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, we'll do another gun run on them. Beautiful. And there we go. Landing zone is clear. Nothing too strenuous. I should have set this to normal mode instead of easy mode, but it's a good little setup just to get us rolling here, really, isn't it? Um, so, let's get our big old arc assault ship moving in. We'll get our ground troops moving in, too, now. Let's get this big old bugger moving. Here she goes. Now, one thing I really do love about this game, and for those of you who are you know, content creators and enjoy filming games, these little sliders here are really, really cool. So basically, what this means is I can adjust the speed of which I move around on the screen. So if you want to film this moving into an attack like this, you can actually slow your rate of cursor movement right down so you can get a really good visual, stunning view of it coming in like that instead of it you know going super fast and you know you can't really seal the action you can slow things right down to get a really nice panoramic view of what's going on in the battlefield and i think that is a fantastic option there's one thing i really dislike about certain uh, games is you can't get good views you can't get good you know cinematics from it because um your mouse is just moving too fast and that's applicable for things like still beast pro too unless you're actually kind of viewing in on the on the design map, you can't really, you know, view your units doing what they do best and shooting up stuff and all that good stuff. So I really like that feature that you can kind of just slow things down and get a really nice cine cinematic panoramic view of what's going on. I mean, here she comes. She's coming into land. And I'm going to land her right now then. And this is going to be, I guess, our HQ so we can now build units. Uh, I've screwed up though because I've left it exposed. So we need to create some units pretty much straight away here. Yes, I know my assault ship is under attack. I hope these boys get up here fast. Let's jump into our raider then. See if we can help our boys. Yes, I know. Look at that. That is awesome. Sweet. Now, another key feature and something I find really, really cool is when your stuff is being actually created, you can actually see it come out of the ship. Like, you can actually see things being built inside your, like the vehicles and all sorts of stuff inside and that's just fantastic i just think it looks really really cool um let's be honest guys visually it just looks absolutely beautiful it really does it looks like a fantastic kind of graphical setup they've really optimized it nicely i have no problems with juddering or anything like that i've got no uh you know frames are fantastic i'm getting at least i think 60 frames a second right now so that's good and we're going to come back out of there though and we're going to start getting some resources so what i need to do build myself a drilling platform 
and we'll get that built here so that will give us some resources and we've got some tanks here what's this this is a drone defender so obviously just like any other normal RTS you need to collect resources to create units to go and attack the enemy um, and it's you know it's some people might say well that's an RTS grind I don't I absolutely love these kind of games I grew up with red alert to the bone I just absolutely love Red Alert series, the Command and Conquer series, and pretty much any kind of RTS nowadays um, that comes out, I try my best to follow. Unfortunately, though, I've kind of let down on the RTS world because I've been too busy focusing on our uh, simulation games, so it's nice to be able to play games like this and have some fun and kind of go back to my childhood roots a little bit. Um, so, now we need to build energy resources, which is going to be this guy here. And we'll stick it over these. Order has been completed. There you go. Yeah, any source is not first activated. Oh, okay. There we go, it's activated now. Oh, okay. I must have done the wrong thing there. I guess they're already activated. So maybe deploy you there. Is that what I wanted? I guess. I'm not sure. I think that's how it's supposed to work, but that's fine. Um, we'll actually try and build another one of them now then. So we're losing units pretty good here. They're coming in pretty strong. Let's see if we can get some more units created. Get some tanks, some infantry, got all sorts of stuff going on here. There we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, let's get some turrets built. I want to get some turrets. Gun platforms. Get a couple of gun platforms on this entrance here. Try and protect us. I'm going to take my raider for a drive. Let's go. Spin around. It's got a horrible turning circle. We're going to try some other weapons here. Let's try. Uh, let's try some missiles. NLRS. And take out this target. Beautiful. Nice. Keep an eye out for what's going on in the distance here. We're going to get another drilling platform put up here. We'll park up, let my guys come help him out. What we got here? Gun platform will build you just here. Oh, we need an energy source. Okay. First, activate it. It's not active. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So it needs energy sources, that's cool. Good to know. Um, we do need to build that uh, drilling platform. God, they just keep coming. Okay, you guys need to uh, defensive mode only. I don't want you to keep going out of, out of the way. Look at that turret, though. It looks sick. Big old Bofa cannons on the side there. Ooh, look at this guy. He's not happy, that's it. Run away, fella. He's gonna go and get his buddies and bring a whole army of them next. No, 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 no. Just defensive mode. All of you go into defensive mode. Okay, so once we get our other drilling platform built. Ah, I gotta get the energy source activated. I'm not taking this from you, fella. Beautiful. I think I have troops in the back here I can actually deploy. Which is going to be handy. Let's see if I can deploy them by this energy source. There we go, troops are out. I like it. Look at the bayonets on the end of the rifles too, it looks sick. Okay, build drawing platform, let's do it then. Strategy mode. We've got one ready already. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, now we need to build a let's get a cyborg base built, so an infantry barracks.
Okay, I need to get this thing built. The energy source is not... Okay. I'm a little confused how the energy sources work right now, but that's okay. So we'll get some infantry built up. It doesn't like it when you click very quickly for new units. It will shut it out. It's kind of strange. So, obviously, guys, being this is a brand new game, it's going to have a little bit of work to do. It's still got some, probably some bugs and some fixes. But right now, I'm super impressed with it. Like, it's definitely a game I can say I'm going to enjoy. Whoa. Holy crap. Shoot it. Shoot it. You ain't getting away from me, fella. Chase it down. Chase it down. He's melting my troops right now. Oh, I'm injured. Pretty badly. Okay, I gotta get an energy source. Okay, let's get this thing built. Okay, you can hold that area for now. Pull back troops, just defend for now. Oh crap, things are getting hairy down there. Okay, let's build this a, uh, let's get a building uh, for making some vehicles put up here. I mean, even the architecture, the, how this building is producing stuff, just looks cool. Like, feeding in the resources, I mean, just the detail they put into it just looks fantastic. Um, let's see, I'm not too sure what's going on here. Energy source is not activated. Activate it first. There we go. My raid is on the run. What are you doing, fella? Okay, let's get some tanks. We want some armor. Holy cow, this thing's... Shoot it! Shoot it now! It's running away again. We've got to finish that thing off. Don't run now, fella. Ooh. Melted. I'm going to finish this thing off. We're going to chase it down. You ain't going to escape, fella. Come on, don't let him get away. All my own now. <laughs> Should probably bring some reinforcements with me. Oh yeah. Pull back, pull back. Whoa. Okay, let's head back to camp here. We're gonna build some turrets, I think. We're gonna need them to defend this area. Okay, let's come out of there. I think we actually had our shit destroyed. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, we're getting hammered right now. Oh my god! What is happening? What is that thing? Help! Kill it! Oh my goodness. We need help. Bring in the boys. Let's go. Holy cow. Take that sucker out. Beautiful. She's coming down. Oh my goodness. Arr! It's insane. That's it, tank. Whoa, holy crap. Help. Help me. Tank, shoot him. Wow. Okay, well, clearly we're overwhelmed here. <laughs> Die, you volcanic piece of crap. Okay, gotta hunt this thing down. I gotta finish it. it keeps getting away from me. Uh, I'm not gonna let you get away from me this time. Come on, come on, come on. This thing ain't giving up. Need energy. Help me. Warning. 
I think this is the end. I think this is the end, guys. This is it. It's holding it, holding it for the for the last minute here. Hold the line from these bug type creatures. Ah! Oh my goodness! They're going for my base. I think it's all over. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. No! Mission failed. Defeat. Oh my goodness! My first mission that I lost. Oh! Oh my goodness! Well, guys, I I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we're definitely going to give that another try sometime. But you can straight away see some of the key features. In fact, I'm going to actually jump really quickly into this training mission here. And just show you one of the coolest things that I found about this game straight away. Um, with the whole avatar thing. Now, this is the um, this is the T-Raptor. Now, this thing is cool as hell. Like, let me just show you the things that you can actually do with this thing. Um, let me just install some other weapon systems. Okay, I get it, buddy. I get it. Now, the thing just looks cool, eh? Now, it's kind of like a mech warrior setup. Um, we're going to put some improved cooling systems on there. And we're going to get him to boy. So here we are. This is like our dino bot, I guess. And again, we're on top of our uh, carrier system here. So, uh, ready for this? Ready? Ready? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Okay, so then we can power through. Heading towards these checkpoints. And we can just land. Like, we can just land wherever we want. Patrol along the top of this hill line. Engage. Launch some rockets. Beautiful. And the scenery just again looks fantastic. Now this is obviously the uh, same train as we were at before. Running through some more checkpoints here. And it just looks visually fantastic. There we go. Now you can actually zoom in too as if you're in, uh, in the vehicle itself. Which looks really, really cool. Looking around. It just looks absolutely visually beautiful. Use WSD to move camera and scroll wheel for zoom. There we go. Excellent. You've got to use them. You better sum up. Now press tab to enable strategy. Just looks fantastic. Lining them up right now. Just so cool. Anyway, guys, um, I just thought I'd give you a kind of a showdown of what other vehicles you can get as the Avatar, and I really like this kind of Dino Bot thing. I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Plenty more of this series to come. Please leave a like, comment. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. All the best, and bye bye.